Hey everyone, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, and this is Stellaris. We are, of course, the Panuri Collective. Uh, to our northwest, we have the United Macro Union, the pacifist cybernetic mushrooms. To our north east, I guess, we have both the Tebran Trading Coalition and the Hafcom Mercantile Guilds. Um, we haven't really dealt much with many of them. This is a trade trade league, which can be annoying. Um, because they can put down corporate entities on you, which generally mean you get fucked up with crime. And these are also a trade league as well. Okay, cool. So they're peaceful traders, and these guys are ruthless capitalists. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we're fine on both of those counts. We do have full intel on the trading coalition, but not much on the mercantile guilds. And down to ourselves, we of course have the Quapanjaxi uh, Reavers, who are still just sitting nice and tight. We are trying to deal with a food shortage, or a uh, food deficit, we might call it, an empire sprawl overextension issue, and of course, naval capacity uh, being in excess. Like, our fleets are too big. We're going to fix the naval capacity with interstellar logistics as soon as our species modification finishes in a couple of months. And where were we? Oh yes, we're researching for Science Nexus, which is great. That'll take a while. And also just upping our engineering research capabilities. Let's get to it. Oh, and uh, we're also just generally trying to help out uh, these new planets we took. We are terraforming all three of them to be hive worlds, which would be nice. Hmm. Why not? Uh, you as well, though I don't think you have many miners yet. No, you don't. It's fine. They'll be fine. Things will get a lot better once those worlds become hive worlds because it will uh, then ignore habitability issues for our dudes. <clears throat> really wish this would actually tell us about those, those pre sapiens. Anyway. Yeah, so not a whole lot going on at this stage. We're just sort of chilling. Hoping that our dudes, you know, recover somewhat. Being insulted from <laughs> the Kerim Stellar League. Are you in great physical pain or is that your thinking expression? They really do not like us. A couple of reasons. We were at war. Um, we purged their species. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And of course, we do have claims on... Do we have claims on our shit? I don't think we have claims on our shit. Let's just have a quick look. Do we have claims on your shit? No, I don't have any claims on your shit. You could put a claim down on that one, but you know don't want to. We're also trying to save up influence now because we're going to need it when that science nexus comes in. Like it's going to be important. Species tampered with. May the okay. spirits forgive us. We are now all erudite. So you can see here our governor now gets plus five percent all research here. That's cool. Our scientists get plus five percent research on top of what they already have. Our admirals get fire rate and disengagement chance. And if we were to get a general, they would get army damage and army disengagement chance. All very good.
the only reason, or well, he might actually be better than him, but I don't think we've got too many options as Gov. I say that, look at this guy. 10% all research, 5% all research. Oh, and this gun gives us admin capacity from Synapse drones. I'm going to hire this guy, and we're going to put him in charge of the capital. Now, the issue here, of course, is Caretaker does um, reduce Empire Sprawl and resources, but that's fine. Did that actually work? It did. So you'll probably see Empire Sprawl has increased here a bit, or will increase here a bit. When the month ticks, I don't know. It'll be a little annoying, but we can always keep Caretaker around. <clears throat> yeah, don't care. In fact, what we should do... Make this new sector at Saolia, and put Caretaker in charge of it. This one I care about a little bit less because it doesn't really cover much. Could be useful though. There isn't another planet in range anyway. Now at minus 100 food. Everything is proceeding. We're about to get that engineering research coming in. Now the spirits have granted us new wisdom. There it is. Okay. City district housing, Marauder missiles, which are an advanced version of the missiles we're already using. Alloy nano plants. Battleship build speed and cost. I think we'll get that one. Because we're not building the battleships yet. And uh well it'll be useful for them to be a bit cheaper. Yeah, unfortunately, reverence for life is probably going to pass. Fucking pacifists. Actually, our Empire Sprawl has dropped a bit, and I think a lot of that is because we put Caretaker over here. And he's a pretty good governor. Like, he knows what he's doing. sure if there's anything worth us building here just because they're still having shortages this one less so I think it's worth waiting until they get the hive mine down or the hive planets down they got a bit closer but it's still gonna go for or not against. Yeah. No need to activate a relic. I'm going to reverse engineer arcane technology. Gain 8,000 research points. Now, it is very unlikely we'll ever be able to do that again. Because we've only got four minor artifacts. And once you sort of exhaust the archaeological sites. Um, yeah, it's like, now what? How are you going to get minor artifacts now? <sighs> minor research sanctions, what's this? Okay, if you're in breach of galactic law, where you get denounced, you get penalties. Oppose. Repeal building a better tomorrow, what was that one? I, I'm going to... I'm going to actually oppose repealing that one. What's this? Minor military sanctions. Oppose. Yeah, I think most places are going to try and oppose that.
and somebody has voted put in minor economic sanctions oppose them yeah now that if you found now that there is a thing where someone can be in breach of interstellar law sanctions come into play And I mean, we don't particularly want to deal with sanctions. Nobody does, right? It's weird that we've got like three trade leagues. It's a mega corp. The trade league. Have granted us new wisdom. And another trade league. Huh. Anyway, Interstellar Logistics is in. That's great. Okay, Starbase Cap, Leader Enhancements, Fleet Limits, Tile Blockers. I think that one could be useful. I mean, they could all be useful. Tell you what, we're going to up the fleet command limit a little bit. Um, actually, no, 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 not that one. Give me tile blockers. I was thinking because we do want two battleships in each fleet, but we don't have the naval capacity to sustain that at this point. We could certainly sustain one in each fleet, though. Let's look into that. Um, actually, hang on. We want this to finish first. Because then things will be slightly cheaper. So don't worry about it, basically. So how do my fleets... yeah, pathetic, because they've got one fleet of roughly 10k and I've got three fleets of over 10k. Okay, I think I'm gonna put down some... I kinda wanna put down research facilities here. Put down an exotic gas refinery and a research facility, research lab. And over here, mm. same maybe. I mean, give them a research lab for sure, and I guess give them an exotic gas refinery. That'll be fine. Ah, okay, good. This place up here. It's now a hive world. So they can have another mine. They can have a, another three ag districts. Let's say another hive district or two. An energy district. And another mine. And maybe another agricultural unit. Nope. It's already full. Okay, I think that's all of the districts. Get to it, lads. What are you idiots trying to vote on now? Minor administrative sanctions oppose. I oppose all sanctions. Only the tree can sanction things. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, Gavina Kashnak has developed a new skill. Governor Kashnak being our new one, he is now Iron Fisted, which means slave populations give 10% more resources. We don't have any slave populations. I mean, technically, the... Um, no, I guess technically the Afefi and the Hafkums are slave populations, but we really don't use them. I'll call them undesirables and say that their purge type is displacement. 
The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Is that going to be an issue with Hathcombs, by the way? Are you going to not like that? Because I'm not actually purging anybody. Oh, look, genocidal minus six. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, the Hathcombs Mercantile Guilds have declared war on the Chrome Stellar League. Cool. Okay, tile blockers again, society research, forge subsidies and resource processing facilities, military academies, tomb world habitability. I don't care about that one. Tile blockers. Let's just have a look at this. Do you have. So, if you declare one of these guys, they've got a defensive pact of a Tebran, so technically... Yeah, so it's the Tebrans and Obha into Solar, the Crim Stellar League, against the Hafka Mercanal Guilds and the Ozcox Citizen Alliance. Where are the Ozcox Citizen Alliance? Oh, here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool story, guys. Appeal natural sanctuaries? Uh, yes, please. I'm on board for appealing that. So... I feel like they could use an energy grid, yep. And I guess some synaptic nodes? And why not a research lab? Why not? We're losing a lot of food now. That's actually an issue. Ah, uh, yes, tile blockers. Get rid of them. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Good, standardized battleship platforms. Very nice. So, swarm of missiles, advanced railguns, impulse thrusters, cruisers, and citadels. Um, mm, advanced railguns. We are using them. Ten more months till a new tradition. This Empire Sprawl is being a real issue for our tradition gaining. So, getting rid of that would be very nice. Chorus is almost hived. Oh yeah, we want to buy a few more ships. Specifically, battleships. So we have the Tarmath class of the artillery. And the Senfor class are the... Um, what do you call it? Uh, bulldozers. So we'll grab an artillery one for each fleet. That does also remind me we need to fix something up. Um, this might get a little messy. But the Eye of Baal, I need your cruisers. Transfer ships. Three of your cruisers. One, two, three, six, sorry. Good. Head down to here. And you guys, I need three of your cruisers. Three. Why am I saying three? It's six. Thank you. And they head up to here. And then we're going to have to really fuck with, like, what's going on there. Alright, you guys can reinforce. If we told the other ones to reinforce, they will fuck it up and get, like, stupid. But what we can do here, I want Hisnax Armada. We say bring this one down to six. Add the second kind of cruiser, so the Pulnar class cruiser. What are you doing? Ah, oh, I was adding battleships, my bad. There we go. 
and I'll max armada, reduce these down, and add the other kind of cruiser, so the errant class, and up it to six. And now when we merge them, hopefully it works out that that's actually what we want. If it doesn't, we just have to fiddle with it again. Oh jeez, this vote doesn't look like it's going very well. Minor military sanctions. Everybody is in support of it except me. That's cool. Vra has suddenly achieved low stability because they've shifted everybody away from maintenance drones. Assholes. Now you're fine, aren't you? Actually, that does remind me about... This one was having the same issue, wasn't it? Yeah, it looks like it's fixed that just because it finally got enough people. We could still use some more maintenance drones, though, so... Two more of those. Let's say... Two more of... Wait, sorry, I didn't even build. One, two... Three, four... Five, six... The spirits have granted seven. us new wisdom. What do we get? Ah, the tile blocker remover. Great. Okay. That's not bad. That's an upgrade. We could use that. The rest of these... I mean, unity of purpose isn't terrible. Uh, we'll get unity of purpose. That'll help us out with the amenities and uh, slight deviancy issues that we're having. The deviancy issues are... Very slight. Ah, oh, I take forever to move around. Looks like there's something new here as well. Integrated gardens. Um, of those, the food from jobs interests me, as does the habitability for a little bit. The rest of them don't. So let's, I'll support that. But it's not like a big deal. Anyway, um, merge those fleets. There we go. So now this fleet on the fleet manager is intact. It's done its little thing there. I will say reinforce. And that should build the battleship somewhere. Presumably here. And these guys are together. So let's join them up. And they should be nice enough to do the same thing. I think they were. Reinforce. Our empire sprawl keeps on increasing because we keep on getting new people. <laughs> Bit of an issue. Traditions! Yeah. I mean, getting menial drone output plus five, that's actually pretty good. Eventually. Rest of these. Mm. Yeah, so deviancy definitely shouldn't be an issue for us for a while. Hopefully. Food is still being an issue. If we really want to, we can just buy a lot of it. It is fairly the cheap. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Advanced railguns dropped. Okay, so now we get advanced afterburners, which are just twice as better. 
tier 2 Ripper auto cannons, Marauder missiles, alloy nano plants and habitats. As discussed before, habitats pretty worthless. Uh, not really needing alloy nano plants at this point in time. So I think we might go for Ripper auto cannons. It's a nice little cheap one. Also, let's just have a look at our ships. Yeah, these have been upgraded properly. Which means we can come down here. Everybody needs an upgrade. The good thing is that not everybody uses the, um... Oh. Scientist Cognac, who is... Where? He's commanding the ISS Donjon for Tactician. Alright, that's cool, buddy. Like, entirely unnecessary for you to have learned anything. Anyway, as I was sort of getting at... Um... What was I getting at? Oh, lost the train of thought. Oh, Chorus is now a hive world. The only thing it really does for it is it gives it that, that little bit of extra um, resource stuff. And also we get an additional spawning drone job, which we do not need. What the fuck is going on here? Why do you have no farmers? They all jumped into fucking maintenance droning. Get over there. This is why we have a food issue, you know. Like you're not all needed at maintenance drone levels. Jeez. That's fine. That's fine. That'll do. I don't like this, but if I take it off, they go straight to fucking... Rage mode. You boys need to remove the dangerous wildlife. And Darmog's Frontier actually has a building slot. Our ships have been improved. Do I have a... Food processing. Okay, good. Okay, ships were improved somewhere. Yeah, it looks like they were here. So now that's a 12,000... Um, Jeez, did we lose a leader, did we? Ah, oh, something probably happened when they got weird about being traded out or whatever. Looks like that's fine now. Yeah, so now it's 12.6. So that leader gave them 600 extra, um, you know punching power basically I'm waiting for these guys to finish getting their battleships before I hit the upgrade button on them just because it's uh we're gonna have to hit the upgrade on the battleships anyway yeah so we've gone from like minus 150 the to minus 85 have us new wisdom. and we've got unity of purpose very nice okay so aside from the usuals Forge subsidies, research, yeah, don't care. Plus society research, this one, garrisons, resources from jobs, plus five. We'll take that one. Um, I was going to take the, I think the defense one, even though we don't really need it, because it's going to be quick. This will be relatively quick and actually gives us a bonus. So, you know. Okay, we found a curator order. Greetings, Star Travelers. We have a Curators. This is like the uh, Artisan Troop or the random Merchant Dudes. Uh, our Ancient Order was established aeons ago by the various galactic powers in the ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge in an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism. We failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. So, these are interesting. Let's go find them again. Contacts, Curator Enclave, Diplomacy. So, a couple of things. Can you aid us in our research? Tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Now, 
this is about the Leviathans and things like that. So we can have them tell us something we don't know. It costs us 300 gold, gives them 10 opinion on us. Tell us about the Void Spawn, or what else do you have to offer, which takes us back here. Tell us, um, we we're just there. Can you aid us in our research? Is, of course, we're prepared to offer you limited access, etc, etc, etc. 10 years, you get plus 10% research speed, it costs you 5 grand, and gives you plus 20 opinion with them. We are going to purchase it. It is a good deal. Also, tells about mysteries of the universe, tells about the void spawn. Um, I don't think we've actually encountered the void spawn. But basically, you can ask questions about the Leviathans and it'll be what is it really? How is it defeated? Which lets you do a bit more damage as well as it costs you money. How would our current fleet fare against it? Yours is a mighty fleet, uh, you'd probably win. We haven't found any Leviathans around, but basically they appear with a question mark next to their military power. So you don't know how well you'd be able to defeat them. And I don't know where the Void Spawn is. It might be the one that the um, Swarm got rid of. But generally when they appear on the map they have a skull next to them instead of this little sort of blue alien thing. Is that an Elgate over there? Oh god damn, okay. This is something to keep track of by the way, where the Elgates are. So there's one there, one there. Are they always at black holes? I think they're always at black holes. One there. That's a bad one. That's a really bad one there. Uh, so, if I have it enabled, the L gates, let me just explain this real quick. There's this cluster of stars out here, like somewhere out of the galaxy, an extra galactic star cluster. The L gates will let you access it after they're unlocked. There is a reason why they're locked. Uh, I think it's always the same thing. But on the other side of it, in every game that I've played with them, there's like a um, nanite swarm. And once one Elgate is unlocked, they can come through. And just, all they do is destroy shit. It's absolutely devastating. They've, at base difficulty and base um, mid-crisis level, they have fleets of 30,000. And they just destroy things, like... They render territory like unclaimed, basically. The problem is that once one L gate is opened, every single L gate is opened. So, the one at the Eye of Hawking here, that's actually in a pretty good spot because there's only one way out. The one at Heaven's Gate, that's a big issue. Not only are there two ways out of Heaven's Gate, there's a wormhole back here. And they can use wormholes. Uh, let's see, there's one up here. This is also a bad one. Because there are two ways out. And the wormhole here, of course. We're actually very vulnerable to this... To this... Um, oh no, sorry, that's not an gate. That's a gateway. Gateways are different. Gateways are safe. So that's actually cool. I'd like to take that if I could. Um, there's a gateway there. Wormhole there. Wormhole there, that's a gateway. I think there was an L gate. Yeah, there's an L gate down here at Demon's Moor. That's also in a pretty bad position because it's got like three. It's got more than three escape routes. It's got like. Yeah, it's got four escape routes. One, two, three, four escape routes. And I don't know if there are any wormholes or anything there. Okay, cool. Um, we've got more code breaking with the something. Darmax Frontier. The still spirits has a have granted slot. us new wisdom. Do they get a supercomputer? They do have a supercomputer, don't they? Hang on. Rip Rotor Cannons dropped. Advanced Strike Craft. Better cruisers. Better cruisers. Citadels and the Kinetic Battery. So the kinetic battery is a very long-ranged, 120 is the range, large slot. 
Massive shield damage, not so much armor damage, does extra hull damage. We might get them, just so that we can compare them to our current large slot, which is the uh, auto cannons. Also, that should have enabled our fleets here to all upgrade, so let's upgrade all of our fleets. It's not terribly expensive. It's a good reason to have sort of combined arms here, where you can have some guys have lasers, some guys have auto cannons, because then only some of them need to upgrade at any time. I find it useful anyway, so... Our ships have been improved. It's also very quick. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we can upgrade these ones. All three of them, thank you. That one as well. Medgar. Yes, please. What is going on over here? Ah, that one can get upgraded. That's a that's an easy yes. Uh, Quarak is having issues with... Yeah, because they will stop producing amenities again. Like, what are you doing? Idiots. If I tell them to... Yeah, see, they just stop producing the damn things. Like, guys. I appreciate Our the extra ships minerals. Have been improved. But it's not helpful. Yeah, that Empire Sprawl has jacked up. Can I build a synapse node down here? Yep. Thank you. If it helps a little bit, it helps. Because remember, this is a scaling penalty. Oh, jeez. It's actually really expensive for us to get tech and traditions now. Another 24% cost on traditions. Another 60% cost on techs. <sighs> it's rough. Still worried about that food as well. Cool. Yeah, the it looks spirits like... have granted us new wisdom. Oh, okay. Hold up a second then. Uh, yep, business conglomerate. Well met. Cool. Science Nexus. Lovely. <laughs> okay. A couple of things we really don't care about. The Curator Exploration Lab. 33% extra survey speed. When are we going to use survey speed now? Gamma lasers. Particle lance. Again, we've got nothing with X. Shield hit points up. That's really expensive. And of course, positronic implants, which is research speed and auto research. I think we'll go for the positronic implants just to up our research speed a little bit more. Now I completely forgot. Oh yes, the science nexus, of course. So. You click here, build mega structure, and then here you can see what you've got available to you. Um, I think there's something very particular about it. Like you can't just, ah, right, that's how we do it. Okay, gotta remember how you do these things. We will be putting it in Corinth. I think this isn't one of the consuming ones. So yeah, we could just come down here, click there, click there, and now it's given you an option of where you wanna put it. Now you don't want to put it around a world that already has minerals. So um, I think this one over here is just fine. So he's going to go and build as a science uh, nexus. It does cost us a lot. As we've explained in previous episodes. But it is very much worth it. And let's be honest. While we could repair the rings at Cybrex Alpha. Eventually. In fact, we could do one of them right now if we really wanted to. Um, there is little point. We're not going to do well in space habitats because we can't have the tree. I don't think you can have the tree in space. Right, make no mistake, that's an assumption on my part, but I think it's a pretty the good assumption. Have granted us new wisdom. Yeah, yeah, one second. Um, 
more synaptic nodes maybe? You definitely use a planetary supercomputer and synaptic nodes. Plus 5% resources from jobs, good. This. Definitely this. <laughs> oh, clone armies are up. But yeah, this will be quick, 7 months. 20% extra food from jobs, which means an extra 80 food. And another 10% from Starbase construction, so that's another 10 food. So another 90 food, that'll help out amazingly. And we will not be using nutritional plentitude, that's not good for us. At this point. Okay, started building it, yes. Yep, lovely. I don't know if it destroys the planet for it. Most, a lot of the mega structures, particularly the Dyson Sphere, remove everything about a system to make that thing, which is why Polymar is a good choice for it, because there's nothing in Polymar. We get free energy from the sun, the Dyson Sphere will give us way more than that. This one would be good for it, but it would also destroy uh, Homum Free, which is a pretty good world. Like, it's a big world. Let's just have a look here. You fucking around of your... If I take them out of there, are they going to restructure? Uh, no. Good. Good. We have way too many maintenance drone jobs here. I'm going to cut down on, what do we get? We get 13 housing and 6, yeah, I'm going to take out one hive district and replace it with an ag district. I know we've done this before and it hasn't worked out too well for us, but I feel like it's just a waste the sitting spirits that have many granted people us there. New wisdom. Kinetic battery came in, as did gene crops. So, I'm thinking... Oh, that one would be good. Because then we could get that second battleship in each fleet. Yeah. And this one here, flat cannons, we're not using them. Gauss cannons is an upgrade to our rail guns. Mega cannons is a X type. Stormfire auto cannons, that's an upgrade to the uh, auto cannons, of course. And of course, habitats. Gauss cannons. Now, just want to have a quick check of something in Ship Designer. So we come to Battleship. Okay, so the difference between a large advanced railgun, average damage of 30, and a range of 100. Average damage of 35 and a range of 120. Same tracking. Fires slower, but it does more damage. And the damages are different. Large advanced railgun and the kinetic battery have the same armor penalty. But the kinetic battery does more in terms of damage to other shit. It's our new artillery. Let's just go through the rest of it to make sure. I think we keep it on this one. Like, because we are researching an upgraded version of it. Let's just have a quick check. Yes, yeah, so that is a more damage than the kinetic battery, but the bonuses are, um, well, not as good, but it does fire faster, so this helps us with smaller targets. Uh, let's see, have a look at these guys, this one here, these get kinetic batteries on them now, I don't think that one add anything yep actually they already have medium slots yeah nah keep it like that it's fine it's fine this one however can definitely get the upgrade and I don't think anything else has those okay good upgrade most of it is just upgrading the battle station I think. Did I save the, um, hang on. 
I didn't save this. God damn it. I was like, why isn't it? Uh, can't be changed while the Armada is upgrading. So we just wait for the upgrade to finish. Maybe about now. <sighs> Come on, guys. Our ships have been improved. Done. And also, did I upgrade the... No, I didn't hit the save button. Bad form. Okay. Now we can upgrade again. How's Hanuri going? Yep, they've got their 18 here. We'll get a few resources back. So that's nice. I think we've got enough resources here to scrap this. I'm going to change the listing post to a defense grid supercomputer. So remember that's plus 8 defense platforms, which gives us to 26. So we can get 6 of each of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we'll just wait for the supercomputer to come in before we get the mid gaps. Our ships have been improved. Cool. Our ships have been improved. Yep, we're at 13k for each. Very nice. And I Our think ships have been improved. once we get this naval capacity up and the new battleship in each fleet, we can go and take on the uh, Marauders. Our ships have been improved. Or at least try at Unamar. It's not such a high priority at the moment because our, our ships admin cap. Have been improved. Oh yeah, that's right. The our ships platforms. have been improved. No, shut up. Our ships have been improved. Yeah, because of the uh, Empire Sprawl admin cap improved. issue, which is actually dramatically our improved in the last five minutes or so. Um, any more? Still going? Our Still going. ships have been improved. Cool. Anyway, this has improved Our dramatically. Ships have been improved. So we are actually in a position where we might want to push on. Our ships into these have been improved. Now, Our you, ships have been you improved. don't declare war at these guys. <laughs> what shrieking? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> you don't declare war on these guys, you just go. You just go and deal with have it. Been improved. Um, that's how it rolls. Our ships have been improved. Are you done? You're done. Good. What is there to improve here? Oh, a few of the lintels. Sure. Whatever. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Okay, that's great. So now you can click on this and it will automatically pick research options. I don't want that. So, advanced research, plus 5% energy credits, that could be useful. Expensive though. Uh, disruptors, auxiliary fire controls, improved reactor boosters. Um, I think grab this one because it's quick. Just a Our nice, ships have been improved. nice little four month splurge. And it's all over then. Are you guys almost done? Nope. Our ships have been improved. Okay, I think I'm gonna... Oh, am I gonna Our drop another one? Our ships have been improved. No, I don't think I can drop another Our hive. Our ships have been improved. Because it's like 13 housing and this one is 2 housing, so we'd lose 11 housing, which is too much. What about here? They don't have enough housing. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. It's a really fire control. Oof. Okay. Few things here. 
Archaeology skill plus two. It's not bad. Um, but what archaeological what archaeological sites? Same with the survey speed. Energy weapon attack speed up. That can be useful. Proton launches, of course. Not bad. Gateway travel. We don't have any gateways. But we could build them. Eventually. Our food is really suffering, actually. I'm going to buy five grand more food just to keep us afloat for a bit. And on that now, I'll sell a thousand volatile no moats. Wish you guys would actually balance this shit. I'm gonna just say fuck it here and just let them keep on doing it this way. Because I'd rather have nine farmers producing poorly than have no farmers producing. And look, we're positive on food now. So I could deploy hunter killer drones, but that would be a bit excessive, I think. How about we upgrade these? Should have checked my gases first. It's fine though. Probably not to the point where I can upgrade all of these though. Yeah, whatever. Okay, I think they just fixed themselves. Was it this one? No, I mean, they're still having the same issue there. Yeah, this one fixed themselves by putting nobody into agricultural production. Wisdom. <sighs> I'm going to take it off that one as well. Fuck them. Gauss cannons. Okay, citadels, battleship hull points, durasteel armor, marauder missiles, impulse thrusters. Durasteel. Okay, now. Gas cannons versus kinetic batteries. Little bit of extra damage overall, but they don't get the mad bonuses. However, they don't just come in large size, which is the main issue with kinetic batteries. So now all of the um, guy, yeah, here we are, medium gas cannons. Very nice. Yeah. Of course, we will need to upgrade them, which is a little expensive, but not too bad because it's just some of the cruisers. Oh yeah, we can... Um, we really should have activated that a while ago, to be honest. Um, 13 years we can get a little bit of extra um, mega construction speed. So we'll activate that and that'll speed this guy up on his building of the Science Nexus. Of all stages of it as we progress Our forward. Our ships have been improved. Lovely. How are we doing now? 13 and a half. Well, just under 13 and a half for each of them. Very nice. And just nine months for our naval capacity increase. And of course, 11 months for our Durasteel armor, which will be beneficial. Just a straight upgrade all around. And you don't have to, with armor, you don't have to worry about power balancing or anything like that. Not that we're having an issue with power. We've actually got really good reactors for like everything. I'd like to be under the admin cap, but I'm pleased that we're a lot closer. Mm -hmm. Oh, what bullshit are we voting on now? Minor admin sanctions. Jeez, guys, what's independent tribunals? Armageddon and indiscriminate bombardment stances and using any Colossus weapon other than a global pacifier are banned. Um, oppose? 
let me guess. I don't know if the regime of Yim put that forward. Uh, repeal reverence for life. Yeah, support. There's only one life that matters, and that's that of a tree. I'm not going to upgrade those guys yet. There's no need to. And yeah, I'm thinking we'll just keep Henry stationed there. Because it's within decent reinforcement range of Corinth, and... We've now begun the massive undertaking of constructing a science nexus. The foundation is in place and preparations are underway to add the main hub. The promise of a new ground of new groundbreaking technologies and the realization of ideas beyond our wildest imaginations await. And though the road ahead is long and full of challenges, we have taken the first step. Could the endless mysteries of the universe finally be within our grasp? So, you can see here we've got a mega structure. Here it is. Now, it costs us 5 energy and gives us nothing. We're upgrading it. Now, we don't need our guy in orbit to upgrade it, so we're going to send him back up to Polymer. This is going to get very expensive. So I believe that increases the upkeep to 25 when it's done, but it will at least be giving us research like some benefit trees love science you know come on yeah there's really nothing for this place to build here so no point building anything interesting question though naval logistics office Command center, nah, nah, it's fine. These ones all have their um. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Hold up, battle simulators. What do you have? Naval logistics office. Yeah, whatever. Naval cap up. So we can get the auto creating vault. I don't care about that. Military academies would be a nice quick one, as would the starbase capacity one actually. Or leader level cap, leader upkeep, available envoys. If we take that, we can send out another spy. How many months is that? 16 months, and this one's 7 months. I don't really need extra star bases at this point in time, so yeah, embody dynamism. Let's get that Jura Steel armor down. The question is do we take all three fleets or do we just take two? I wouldn't take one. One is not the enough. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. There's Jura Steel armor, so now we can get better cruiser builds. Flat cannons, swarm missiles. Keeps on giving us habitats. Oh, look at that. We're below our empire sprawl. Nice. Uh, let's go city housing. It's a quick one. It'll help us out. Now, we need to look at our fleets again. So they've already got a Tamath class battleship. Let's give them a send for as well. No? Ah. My bad. The individual fleet capacities aren't where they need to be for us to do that. Um, let's see, can we reduce anything? I probably wouldn't want to reduce too much. Oh, well, we might as well just upgrade them all. Give them a new armor. We could remove one cruiser from each, and that'd be enough for a new battleship in each. Oh, look at that. Now everybody opposes the minor administrative sanctions. Wrecked. Yeah, that could be an option. Then we add another artillery destroyer. 
We don't have artillery destroyers actually, that's not something we've brought in yet. Hmm. Actually, because we're only... Because we are shy of the cap, we can get rid of one cruiser and a destroyer. Now we only have one kind of destroyer. We can get rid of an of a line cruiser, I think. Is the ship that we're trying to introduce, so the Tamaf is the artillery. Yep, so we can get rid of a line cruiser and that'll actually be fine. So let's let them finish upgrading and then we'll introduce uh, this concept. And then I believe we'll call it the end of the episode. I don't know if we've got enough alloys to buy them, but, well, we'll see, I guess. Come on, lads. I know upgrading the armor means everybody has to get upgraded, which sucks, but, you know. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We have a control systems, sure. Ah, uh, Citadel, better armor again. Oh, we can get better housing and these dudes, which is expanded warrens, which we don't care about too much. Better battleships, we'll get better battleships. Come on, finish the upgrades. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. Got gateway travel, that's cool. Ah! Okay, another mega structure can be constructed. Um, this one, uh, we'll get to it, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Uh, advanced researchers, complex, energy weapon damage, gamma lasers, guardian point defenses, again, or the sentry array. The sentry array gives you the ability to see, when it's fully upgraded, everything in the galaxy. Nothing is unseen. It's really good. That's why its upkeep cost is so huge. We are going to research it. We're not going to build it immediately. We really kind of need a Dyson Sphere before we build one of those. Why are you not finished uh, with your upgrades? Our ships have been improved. Thank you. Okay, so what we want to do, get rid of a Lion Cruiser. So those are Erenths. So, you're gone. Yep. And then get rid of a destroyer. Now, all destroyers are line destroyers, so it doesn't matter which one. We want to do that for each fleet. So, an errant class cruiser. And one Hessendrock class destroyer. Lovely. Now we go to fleet manager. Everybody now has eight spare, had ship design, a Send Four class battle cruiser. And we do that for each one. Then we say reinforce all. We cannot afford it, by the way. We do not have enough um, alloys. So we're just going to come here real quick and buy some alloys. Now I think we need a lot more than we can actually get. So we're gonna sell some volatile moats. About 2,000 of those. I think that will be enough. Let's see. Yep, so free fleets need to be reinforced. We can currently afford to reinforce free ships. Yep, do it. And I believe that will end our episode. So until next time, I've been Sub, you've been yourselves, later.